Hey friends, it's Mr. Woods here for Mr. Woods' Wonderful World of Art. And today I'm bringing you tips, tricks, and techniques. And we're going to be discussing how to properly hold your pencils. I'm going to be going through colored pencils, number two pencils, and charcoal pencils. And I'm going to give you the tips and techniques of why I hold it a certain way and when I hold it a certain way. So now let's begin. I'm going to discuss four different ways of gripping your pencil, be it a number two graphite pencil, charcoal pencil, or colored pencil. The first way is the traditional. I'm left-handed. I'm holding it just the regular style between my thumb, pointer finger, and middle finger. And that's what I hold closest to the tip. And I just pull my line across the paper. Sometimes I stick the pinky out to help with stability. And then doesn't matter if I'm using a charcoal pencil or graphite. I like to have it at a slight angle instead of straight up and down. That way I'm not damaging the paper. And then you just can sketch things out. Whatever you're drawing doesn't matter. You just get the idea. And it's just the traditional way of holding a pencil. Gives you nice clean lines. You can be very intricate in whatever you're drawing. And it's usually what I start with when I'm doing my basic drawing. The second way of gripping a pencil is where I, where I have kind of a overhand grip to it and sometimes I go from the side as well and this is uh, for a quick gesture like drawing I'm, I'm moving fast drawing something out it's also great for shading because I'm getting the angle of the pencil right here the angle right across the charcoal even with the paper itself so when I'm coming in and doing some shading I can quickly do that and again I can use my fingers for stability. I like to use my middle finger a lot because I place it down and have more pressure on that middle finger on the paper than I do on the tip when I'm doing shading. So it helps out quite a bit. Same thing with colored pencils. To block in an area quickly, I can use the side of the colored pencil, but instead of going with my, my lines like this, up and down or at an angle, I like to use little circular motions, but it's the overhand, kind of like if you're holding a drumstick. And again, same like with the traditional hold, I get close to the tip, so I still have that feeling of control. The third grip is basically the same as the traditional way of holding the pencil, only it's going to be inverted. And when I'm using the inverted style, say if I was drawing out a head here and I've got the face kind of put into place where I like it and I'm working on that and I'm starting to get details put in, I can invert my pencil and it helps so I can directly see where my pencil line is going instead of the traditional way where my hand might block my view and then also I can get up and around things when I'm starting to, you know, doodle, draw, sketch, whatever. So this is the inverted and you can see how my hand, how I'm holding the pencil right there in my hand. And again, I'm left-handed, so it might look a little different to you if you're right-handed. I mean, it's just a mirror image and I'm up and around my artwork holding kind of more in the middle of the pencil I mean, you can still get towards the tip, but the idea is to get around your artwork while you're working on it. The last grip that I'm gonna go over is the light grip or paintbrush grip. And you're holding at the end of your pencil instead of at the beginning. And it's a lot looser of a pencil line. When you make this line, you're making something that's very light. So when I use my ruler, I'm just going to hold it 
at the end of my pencil and then I just let the pencil make the mark that way I'm getting a nice light line not damaging the paper um, when I'm coloring you can hold the end of the pencil that way when you're coloring it in you're making lighter motion with your hand thus not putting as much pressure on the tip getting a nice pale green instead of the traditional style if I was down here coloring and pressing and I would have a little more pressure and it would be darker just because of the pressure same with the charcoal pencil that way you can get a little bit lighter instead of the same traditional style the regular style coming down and pressing down and it's going to be darker hey there my friends thank you so much for joining me right here at mr woods's wonderful world of art and i really hope you enjoyed this episode over tips tricks and techniques and if you did stop right now and hit that subscribe button also share this with some of your friends my goal here is that you take away some tips and techniques that you can use in your own artwork. So stay tuned for more episodes, more videos, and more shows over tips, techniques, also how to draw tutorials. So keep being original, keep being creative, most importantly, keep having fun, and remember, if anyone can do it, it's you.